guys, it's your girlie, and you're watching Sunkissed Somewhere. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back. My name is Ayn Burnos, and I do videos on travel, lifestyle, and confidence three times a week, every single week, or when I can. For today's video, I'm doing what's in my bag, just because a lot of you guys have reacted to this story on my Instagram. You guys are curious about what on earth I bring every day. Well, first off, thumbnail. Okay, this is my backpack. It is an Anello. I don't know exactly what model it is, but maybe I've mentioned it in my last What's, been, what's In My Bag. It's also on this card right here, so you can click that. I had a collaboration with Max to the max and it's right here. So anyway, so today I'm going to give you the updated version of what's in my bag because it's been quite some time and I actually moved from Manila to Spain so my kind, my life has kind of changed a lot if that's, you know. <laughs> so shall we begin? We shall. First thing I wanna say is that I had a full day today which would explain the contents of this. But essentially I worked in the morning and then afterwards I went to the gym. So I have everything from my work stuff, my laptop, editing, whatever, things related to my YouTube life and my business life. And then I have also my gym uh, stuff, which explains this, I guess. I'm sweaty, if you can't tell. Here I have a small water bottle that, number one, I don't advocate the use of water bottles. It's just that this is one I had to buy because I was traveling and airport security made me dump my reusable water bottle. Long story, I don't wanna talk about it. It still hurts my feelings to this day. Second, I have my Aquasorb towel here, which I use when I go to the gym. So, for sweaty, sweaty Aeen. And then on the other side, I have my umbrella which seems to be left at home every single time it rains. I always have it when it's not raining, and when it rains, it's not here. So, whew, that's why I always bring it nowadays. Okay, now let's go to the inner, uh, the outer pocket, I would say. First off, we have my eyeglasses, which I wear for just screen safe purposes. I don't really have a problem with my vision. I just like to protect them from blue light and whatever, and also I look cool wearing them, so. Next, I have my external hard drive, which I bring with me all the time because the archive of my YouTube life, my YouTube career is in this hard drive. So I just can't lose it. Also, if I'm editing outside and I need something from this, then if I have it, perfecto. I've got my earphones for when I go to the gym. These are Bluetooth earphones that I got from El Corte Inglés for really, really cheap. Honestly, I don't really care about the music quality. I just care that it's Bluetooth and I can work out with them. And then I have a napkin just for emergencies, but I don't really use them. I actually use, what do you call that? A menstrual cup. I use a menstrual cup now. I don't use napkins anymore. Finally, I have mints. Okay, now inside my bag is really really spacious and it's absurd the amount of things that i can fit into this as you can see it's kind of like a mess but trust me it's not a mess everything here i know where everything is first off let's start with my 13 inch macbook air i bring it with me all the time just because if i have time to edit i would love to have my laptop to actually go do that i like to stay connected i also write on my blog and if i don't have it and there's something in my mind that just needs to be written down it really frustrates me you know what i mean so just to be ready not a girl scout but i do come prepared all the time also on that little laptop sleeve i have some paperwork for school i work as an english language assistant during the days and i have a bunch of reading for my bachillerato classes and a bunch of worksheets for my primero spanish first year classes Okay, that's what I wanted to say. Whew. I have a little headband here, a knit headband that I just like having with me because in case it gets cold, nowadays it's the sun is bright and shining and whatever, but just in case it gets a little cold at night, I'd have this to protect my ears and my head and whatnot. 
Now, my second set of phones, like I have headphones as well. This is from Energy System. And again, I don't really care about the sound quality. All I care about is that it has 17 hours of battery charge and that it's Bluetooth so I can edit on the go. Also, to be honest, they look cute. Did, did my voice suddenly become louder? I can't tell. This little paperback right here is actually my bonan. And I had my, a while ago, sorry. I was at the Google campus to edit some stuff. So I have this Tupperware, not really Tupperware. It's like reusable, whatever. I had sticks of carrots and hummus in this little thing right here in this little container. Foil from my sandwich. That's it. This Sunny Studios pouch is actually a pencil case. And what do I have here? Let's see. I have my mechanical pencil, which I use for journaling. I have my extra bala, though I don't really need them. I have a highlighter in case I want to highlight stuff and remember things in my readings. I have my Pilot ball pen which again, I got from the Philippines and I can't find any replacement for this. So if this gets lost, I'm due because I only use this for my planner. And finally my USB in case I, again, need it. I don't really have a use for it, but in case, just in case you don't love it, no, you know. Sunglasses because the sun is out and I'm happy again. I really like it because it makes me look like I have my life together because it's so huge and Am I right? <laughs> of course I'm right. I have, of course, this little wire over here. That is my power bank. And this has 20,000 mAh. Lasts me days, actually, and a couple of charges because I'm always afraid that I would lose my phone because it's dead or something, or I'm up in the mountains and I don't have ways to charge my phone and that's just horrible. So I always have this, I'm always ready, especially for my outdoor excursions. Now moving on, we have these. I have my Moleskine planner, which I already talked about. I love it. Garage bought me this for Christmas. And then I have my Moleskine journal, which another thing that I love. And I have Charlotte's, Char Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. How do you pronounce it? Charlotte's Web. Did I say it right? I don't know. Anyway, this is a book that I'm reading for a class that I'm doing with the first of ESSO. I just need to knock it out of the park so I can get back to my worksheet uh, working. Worksheet answering, I'm sorry. So this is a purchase that I got today. I'm really not guilty about it because I'm definitely going to use it. It's another Moleskine notebook, hurrah! It is a soft cover classic Moleskine notebook, just plain, no, no lines, not ruled, no bullets, whatever. This is going to be for my projects. So for YouTube, Morena the Label, and Secret Project, I'm gonna write them all down here because I've gotten tired of planning using my journal because this is strictly for my thoughts. But this, on the other hand, will be for my plans. Now, you might ask me, Ayin, what about your planner? Well, this one is for scheduling. It's much more streamlined and, you know, I have the dates and everything, but this one is just for planning like details of what's going on, who's happening, who's happening, what's, go <laughs> what's going on, what's happening, who's involved, etc. Oh, I have my laptop charger here, but I also have my adapter because this one is the the plug that I can use back home but in Spain I need this so I always have it with me I bought this from before I left actually so it hasn't been that long it really comes in handy it's just 20 it's 27 pesos and my life is so much more convenient because of it yeah lastly I have my wallet this is from coach and I got this a long time ago. I still have it because it's so durable and I like it. The size is just enough for me to have space for my cards, coins, and my bills. As soon as I moved, I kind of ditched the long wallet that I used to have. I think it's because this is much more travel friendly and since I've been traveling a lot, kind of, I just like to have one wallet to bring with me wherever I go. Now, 
what isn't in my bag this is absurd because i never forget it but i did forget it this morning i was reading last night i left it under my pillow this morning so i wasn't able to bring it but i guess it's kind of a blessing in disguise because i was able to get more work done but what isn't in my bag is my e-reader which is a kobo h2o something let me put it here anyway that one i bring with me all the time because i read on my e-reader during my commutes going to work and it takes me an hour every day to go to work and an hour every day to go back from work so it's a lot of commuting and idle time on the train and so to be more effective and efficient and just you know have more use for my time i always have that it contains all my books so in case i finish one in the middle of my commute then poof, next book right so there you go that's everything inside my bag i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you stay confident bye hey, no, 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 no.